It is Friday, Independence Weekend. Happy, happy Friday. It just started raining, which hopefully it will cool things off up and through here. Danny G live, yes. I'm gonna give it a few more moments. Hello, Mr. Hiltsey. <laughs> it's raining up in Washington Heights. Is it raining where you are? Hello, 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 hello. Happy Friday. So I'm here with you all today. I'll let some more people come into the room, but I am speaking directly to Mr. Hiltsey, who just joined the room. I hope it stopped raining and time for you to play tennis earlier today. Hey, Solomon, how are you? Solomon, would you let me bring you into the call, into the chat, Solomon? Would you? I don't know. Let me know, Solomon. This is the Friday free for all, so I'm just gonna bring in people at random or whoever wants to join the conversation. <laughs> John, don't tempt me to try to bring you in. Hey, Kendra. So whoever wants to come in, let me know, because I don't want to just bring folks in if they're not comfortable. I'm going to bring in my friend Kendra right now. But I just want to say happy Friday. Welcome to Danny G Live. This is the Freedom Freestyle Friday where, you know, I'm just saying thank you to all of you guys who have been tuning in to my little platform giving me something to do and perform and act up and just, um, you know, every week say hi to people. Um, I do wanna do a little product placement. My girl, Zenda Williams, who I forgot to do this last week. My girl, Zenda, she is an amazing stylist. She's also um, uh, just a uh, costume designer, seamstress, all of the above. But she has started working again with Mary Kay Cosmetics and she sent me these amazing products. I did buy them from her, so I supported her line and I believe her Mary Kay line email is marykay.com slash Z Williams. So in any case, her saw her Instagram name is House of Zenda. You can find her on Instagram and to support her. I love supporting my people, my sisters and my brothers, everybody. That's what, you know, it's, it gives me joy is to support everybody. So anyway, also too, don't forget this is summertime, don't be ashy. My girl Io Jackson, don't be ashy. This is her product that she makes herself and it is amazing. So, let me see, who wants to come in first? Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> oh, she's watching, it was right. MaryKay.com forward slash Z Williams. You see, Zen, I got you girl, I got you this week. So please go support her. <laughs> that is not lightning, that is me. Things are falling over up in here. All right, so I am going to bring in the one and only Solomon Duaz from Alvin Ailey. I'm so excited. What is happening? Let's see what happens. See how this goes. The freestyle. <laughs> hey, Miss Danny G. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was quick. Oh my God. Wait, did you just walk in the door? You get your bag, bag on your shoulder? <laughs> I was like, she just requested me. Let me hurry up and take off my stuff. <laughs> What's going on? Solomon, oh my God. First of all, can hey, we just give Solomon a shout out? Solomon, first of all, is an amazing dancer with the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. But As Solomon for you. has Yeah, but As Solomon for you. has been helping me with my little IG Live moment. <laughs> because he's been doing them so amazing with the Ailey All Access. So I started sending Solomon some DMs like Hey boo, can yeah. you can you help an old lady out? No, you are a pro. You are a pro. You you popping these things out every week. You <laughs> popping these things out every week, and you have your promo. I love it. Okay. I love, you are serious. I'm serious. You are I'm serious. serious. <laughs> you like the show must go on. It's the all about marketing. Must... You know, it's all about the marketing, baby. Period. Period. So period. tell me what is going on. What were you doing out in these streets today? I was. <laughs> Where are you coming from? What you doing? The laundry mat. <laughs> the laundry mat. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love it. Y'all. Gotta get it done. I was literally, I was literally uh, washing my comforters because okay. the laundry in my building, mm -hmm. um, it isn't appropriate for, you know, such large. Yeah. yeah I need one of those industrial uh, yes. washing machines for the comforter. So, yeah. Yes. Are you in Manhattan? Where are you at? I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, you're in Brooklyn, that's Prospect right. Prospect Park area. Right. Well, Flatbush, you know, okay. but uh, gentrified. <laughs> part. Now, every time I come back from tour, right. funny, like, 
like we well i haven't been on tour since march but um it's right. like interesting like to see like the areas change i've been in this area for seven years now and every time i come back from tour it's like a whole new world i'm like what like, really? you got beer gardens and all types oh of, yeah all types of uh uh, yeah cafes and delicatessens and all of that stuff so. yeah well where i am in washington heights it's still pretty it's still pretty dominican and oh yeah oh it, i literally I, used to live by you I, are you still in the same place from like 2000 <laughs> <laughs> i used i literally lived on the next block from you oh that's right city. right yeah that's mm. right my new year's eve party yep yep <laughs> but it's still it's still fairly the same. I mean, yes, yeah, I mean some new things here and there, but the restaurants. Well, first of all, let's talk about these restaurants. Wait, 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 wait. Can we talk about the pop up outdoor seating? Oh, see, that hasn't really made it over here yet. That the kids really are making it happen. I wish I had some photos, but they are just. And I'm not sure if there's, you know, the cities are just relaxing their rules about it because I'm sure all these restaurants in my neighborhood are not zoned. For, right for some right. outdoor cafe seating i'm seeing but, a lot of stuff pl slide i'm seeing i'm like okay I mean, really like, though they have to folks are trying yeah. to survive out here they're not going to lose their restaurants they're not going to lose their businesses mm -hmm. and i can see that the people in the neighborhood just now gary jeter <laughs> oh wow. hey gary okay jeter. i'll call Word. you back okay hop on the line gary jeter hop on the um, line. yeah so they're putting out all these wooded areas like uh platform style seating areas Man. some maybe look a little bit better than others you know but whatever Man. whatever but some of them have like um the the canopies they got the little christmas lights tricked out people and and you can just feel the excitement in the neighborhood like yay we're getting it together we're we're surviving. I mean, what are we going to do? It's been, what, three months now, four months? Of this? Yeah, literally, literally. What, yeah. About the fire, what about the fireworks? Are they, are they going? In, well, in the it was bad for a while. Um, it slowed down the last two weeks, thankfully. Um, last night, I guess because it's the holiday weekend, folks, it's a little bit of uptick again. But in a weird way, and I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm getting used to it, but um, I'm a little <laughs> used to it now. You know, I just plug in my, my uh, earbuds and I just try to pass out, you know, and just deal with it. You know, what are you going to do? What are you right. going to do? Tomorrow is the holiday, though, right? It is. It seems like they died down a little well, bit. Well, I'm still celebrating Juneteenth, so I don't know what holiday you talking about. You talking about. I know, that's right. Come on. Period. 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 <laughs> Period. So how Period. Are you... Okay. Yeah, how have you been, um, just because, again, Solomon, if you're just tuning in, Solomon is a dancer with Alva Alley American Dance Theater, tour, the rest of the domestic tour that you would have been on, you know, had it be canceled and whatnot. Hey, Lee Jones. Hey, Arcel. Hey, Arcel. Um, so how have you, if you feel like sharing, have, how have you been staying in shape, like dance shape? Okay, or have let's you? Be real. Okay, let's be real. Um, it's pretty hard to stay. Uh, it, like, okay, I haven't done a, a Grand Allegro <laughs> since, <laughs> since since March. Yeah, and you know, um, our rep is very much. You need to jump. And oh jump. yeah, I haven't really been in a space that's suitable or appropriate for jumping. Right. Um, I do have a. Re I do have a. Uh, <laughs> I bought a, a mini trampoline, like a rebounder. So I've been mm -hmm. doing like a cardio workout with that, mm -hmm. but I haven't. I mean, you can't really like do like. A, like a yeah. Allegro, or like a menage or anything like that. But um, I've been doing the best I can, like literally like cross training. Well, that's all you can do. It's not like yeah. I can go across the floor <laughs> yeah. in my studio. But uh, we, um, the company, we we have, we were taking classes. We would have like classes at least like three, three times a week, our own class. And then we would like collaborate on Tuesdays and Thursdays with like, yeah. um, one week it was Alonzo King, oh, uh, nice. ABT, uh, who else? You know, some other companies, but uh, I think Spectrum was one. I didn't take that class, but Spectrum, we had collaborated with Spectrum on a company class. But Okay. Um, yeah, Donald Bird. Shout out to Donald Bird. Donald Bird. <laughs> um, hold on. I'm, let me close my window. I think it is, it's about to get a little loud right by my window. Hold on one sec. So if you're at liberty to say, oh, that's better. If you're at liberty to say, um, or not, it's fine, but is there any sense from the company when you guys might go back into rehearsal or it's still kind of wait and see? Um, it's, we're, we're waiting to see. 
Okay. We're waiting to see. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, that is the the scary part because, of course, we need to get back in some sort of shape. Too. Sure. You know, you know the rap. You know. I do. You guys. <laughs> you are know the rap. Week. You yeah. know the rap. So it's gonna take us a minute to like get back in shape to actually. Yeah, that's the same conversation that, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, Summer Stage is going all digital now for the most part. We're still holding out hope for a handful of shows. I can say that openly um, towards the end of the summer. But um, starting Monday, I'm going to be doing my spinoff, the IG Live spinoffs on Summer Come Stage here. Instagram platform. Come on, the show must go on. The okay, show I had to go. build it and they came, honey. I built it and they came for me. Period. Period. Well, you got some heavy hitters on your show. Yes. I know. Alex. I got Miss Pelta D, honey. You got everybody. Yeah, yeah and everybody. so we're doing um, what we're calling sound check or curator conversations. And the first mm -hmm. one I'm doing Monday at 7 is with Dwight Roden of Complexions. Mm -hmm. And I'll be asking him similar questions, like, you know, because, you know, their repertoire is like, stupid you know mm -hmm. it's all about the leg it's all about the technique even much like mm -hmm. aliens and it's, it's just pretty extreme so kids got to be in shape um so i'm looking forward to that the following week i have joan myers brown Ooh. come on Aunt joan i don't even have nothing to say you got her you getting her on the line not on mine, but on the Summer State platform. Still, still I know. Oh. And I said to, I had to email her daughter and be like, because I know JB just started an Instagram account. And I see her on Facebook like, sometimes, too. I see her. She's funny. She is hilarious. She 88 is years old, joining Instagram. Come on now. She's not having it. Period. <laughs> Come on. Um, and then the week after that is Eduardo Valaro, a ballet Hispanico. Shout out to Eduardo Valaro. Yeah, they just had an amazing online gala. But um, so actually, I have some other friends I know I wanted to bring on so they can talk about their stuff. Any more? Any thoughts for the kids before I let you carry on and get un unsettled? I mean, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Yeah. Oh, I did speak to. I, I don't want to let too much cat out of the bag, but I did speak to Miss Kalia Campbell today. Oh, you <laughs> we, we We working on, we working on something. Okay, okay. We working on those signs, something. That's funny, it's funny you brought her, I gotta call her. I gotta call her, she hit me up. I gotta yeah, call her. Yeah, no, she's wonderful, and I love the two of you together. Your, your Instagram live you guys did a few weeks ago was so awesome. I mean, you guys are that generation that I adore, and you guys are doing it. I mean, you know, so when much I, coming from you. Yeah, when I think about Ailey and, you know, my generation of dancers and what, what you guys are bringing to the stage, I'm like, that's what's up. Good that's boy. It. Good yeah. boy. Yeah. Okay, you, know, you, know, you know, Solomon. You already know. Go ahead and try. Okay, but I appreciate, no, but I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. No, I adore the you guys. Love, the love is yeah. reciprocated. The yeah, love I'm praying for you guys. I can't wait for you guys to get back into rehearsal. To get back to what you are meant to be here for, my Broadway yeah. babies, everybody. Yes. Heart yes. going out to everybody. So love you. Thank you for love jumping you back. with me. Love you back. Have a safe weekend. Juneteenth, we carry it through. Juneteenth. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth. All right. Peace baby. out. Love you. Love you back. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was Mr. Solomon Dumas, honey. Love him, love him, love him. Yeah, so, yeah, I just want to please, you know, if you can, support the, the Broadway League. Um, if you have any extra dollars laying around, I know a lot of us are not working. It's hard, but, you know, the entertainment industry here has been hit really hard. And so, um, let me see. I was looking for my girl, Shannon. Let me see if I can find her. Shannon. Yes, Shannon! This is, I love this. This is fun. I'm burning up. Y'all see me sweating, right? Yes, you're bringing a Shannon so, honey. Y'all not ready for the Shannon, honey. Is she coming? Ah. <laughs> Shannon. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, can we talk about Gus? Are you okay to talk about Gus? I'm okay to talk about Gus. Oh, yeah. well, first of all, let's introduce us to Shannon Stowe, <laughs> an amazing dancer and teacher teaching at the new school. Yeah. Actress. Tell us about, <laughs> you tell us about yourself. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a dancer, actor, teach at the new school. I graduated from the new school. Um, I'm one of those people that you just talked about on Broadway. Uh, well, I haven't been on Broadway yet, but, you know, us actors, dancers. That's right. We're, you know, we're on hold 
right now. So I've been uh, been out here on the Instagram world doing dance classes and fitness yes. classes and yeah. So, and tell me, tell us about the new thing you're doing. Is it True Sweat? Oh, sweat triple, fit? triple Sweat Fit. Triple I Sweat decided, Fit. I um, decided, well, kind of a play on triple threats from, mm -hmm. from, the, from the performance side, mm -hmm. but also thinking like everything I do is like mind, body, spirit. It all comes together. You can't have one or the other, you know, you can't separate them. Mm -hmm. Although some people try to, but yeah. you know, um, burpees can be a dance and a spiritual experience. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes. so yeah, with, with the fitness world also being being stopped yeah um doing i decide have a little group uh program triple sweat fit and um have a created a website and done some classes and doing our first series which is a strength and stretch kind of basic uh building blocks of basic mm -hmm. stretch. and uh it's um right now it's all women from i have uh, friends that I used to teach dance to at Equinox back in California. Oh, wow. Like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're joining me on the, on Wait the a minute. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You started it? Yeah. Shannon, I'm sorry. I did not realize you started it. Yeah. I, I saw you posting about it and I just thought it was, congratulations, let's see, women doing it for themselves, honey. Sis. Right, wait, right. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, Shannon. Thank you. It's been congratulations. Good. Yeah. Excellent. So. Well, I'm gonna put the link to that in my in my bio after this after this. Oh, no, that's amazing. Good. I had. I honestly, I'm Thank sorry. I've been you. so. You know what I'm up to, and I I I, I missed that part of it. That you. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's brilliant. My, my brain, crazy brain child. Triple sweat so, fit. Triple sweat fit. Dot yeah. com? Yeah, dot com. That's awesome. Triple so guys, com. triple sweat fit dot com. Support Miss Shannon up in here. Yeah. So you just had a little sadness yeah. overnight. Tell us about Gus. Gus Kitty. If you look on my well, he's all over my Instagram mm -hmm. and on Facebook. Um Gus 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 Kitty of Love is he was called. He um came to me at, when the quarantine started, when the shutdown, his owners um, went out to the West Coast with their newborn baby. And, um, and so he became my little baby, my little, my little kitty. And um, he, was, he was a scene stealer. There was one day at the beginning <laughs> of class, there was a video, I think it was on my IGTV. I have my little studio set up with, I got sparkly lights, I have yeah. all the things. I was just starting to get into my choreography, and Gus got wrapped up in the light, <laughs> pulled the curtains down. I saw and that just one. <laughs> made it's a so mess. Funny. And and then I and as I was laughing and watching him, what he walked, he like did this little walk out to the front of the camera and mm -hmm. turned around and looked at me like, <laughs> "Lady," and um, so adorable. He was, he was he was you know he was 13. Oh, he was 13. That was my next question. Yeah. Because my friend and, Michi, I think she's still here. She just lost her her fur baby peanut butter recently and he was I think I think she told me he was about 14. Yeah. But a similar coloring too. Orange tabby. Oh, little orange. Oh, he was just such a little lion and he was on Wednesday I got my I got some groceries delivered and I was, you know, doing the boxes and he was there jumping in the boxes like Ah, I'll help you. And he was, um, he, he seemed to be doing fine, but just as little animals do, he was just, the vet tech said that cats will do that. They'll just, something from their instinct, their survival instinct, they just keep going. And then yesterday he, uh, he just went downhill yeah. really fast. And, yeah. um, so around 2 a.m. this morning, we said goodbye. Oh, shit. And, um, Sorry. How did you, was he, was he meowing? How did you know? Yeah, he, well, he had stopped eating a little bit. Oh. And then, and, and, but he was still drinking water. 
And then I made him chicken on Wednesday. Mm. And he chowed down on that chicken. <laughs> he was like, wow. Okay. And then, but then he stopped eating. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> oh. um, he stopped eating and I took him to one vet and they were like, oh, he's, he, well, he's fine. He needs some, some antibiotics for a little, this little stuffy nose. But then um, he he came out and he used to kind of wander around and he would come and lay on my yoga mat when I would try to work out. He'd be like, no, mm -hmm. my yoga mat. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he started Aww. just getting really super wobbly. And it was mm. like, the most, uh, it's like in a matter of hours. And I feel like he just knew, he knew yeah. that, okay, I got to go now. Yeah. I got to go. Aww. And, uh, he, uh, oh, he just, he's the, the most precious little guy. Oh, he was beautiful. Yeah. Well, cheers yeah. to Gus, and cheers the, to him keeping you company during this crazy time. So I've sort of been all... trying to pay attention to the news and not, I don't even know, honestly, what phase we're in. I mean, I see. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, I know your your neighborhood because you're in the West Village. It's been insane with people just out and about. So crazy. yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're in phase what fifty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Michael Thomas. Um, yeah. So the restaurants in your neighborhood. I mean, they've been they've been packed outside. Packed. Last night I walked by one on on my way back to the fir from my first trip to the vet. I was walking back, and there's basically a street party there was a band there was music <laughs> there were people dancing there were there were no masks there were no social distancing and packed into this little teeny place and i was like what is happening yeah and i don't know man i this guess i'm very concerned i guess this area had the most complaints last week really? of people being Yahoo's oh, yeah. <laughs> on the street. So, I mean, but we're in, are we still in phase two? Or do you know if we, does anyone on the chat know? Are we in three yet? I don't, even, I don't even know what that means. We go into three, I think, on Monday. Okay. Minus the indoor restaurant. Okay. But I yeah. Just know for me, like, thankfully, I, because I do work outdoors, I think we'll be able to hopefully do something uh, by the end of the August, I think. Um, Ooh. But I just, you know, I'm very skittish. Actually, um, John and I went for our first little outdoor seating, eating experience last week in Jersey City. How was it? Well, as, as luck would have it, um, it's, it was a thunderstorm. <laughs> so we got through half of our dinner and we had to run inside. But it was, it felt good to just be out, had a dining experience. You know, because the last time I ate out in New York was uh, probably the first week of March, like most people. Yeah. And then we went away and came back, and boom, the shutdown happened. So, you know, it's one of my favorite restaurants in his in his area, Madame Claude, French restaurant. Oh, and um, and it was fine. You know, they were taking care of us. And we ended up having to run inside because it came through the, like, monsoon. And I guess we were supposed to be inside, but they were like, you know what? It was just us and another couple. We so sat at the bar, spaced out, finished yeah. our drinks, and um, but it was it was it felt good to go out and support an establishment. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. So that's been good. And so you're doing your classes, and yeah, you, you've been hanging out with a few people here and there, right? Yeah, I've got like a few little few little people that like they they've stuck to themselves and i've stuck to myself yeah. and then get together and stick to each other <laughs> no i think that's fine even last night nice and i would stay outside and yeah yeah um, i have been able to go on a couple little social distance picnics down by the pier when it's mm -hmm. not a nightmare right it's yeah. not overcrowded and stuff but yeah. Yeah. So. I went stooping last night with um, my friend Duwan and my girl Monique Yay! in Harlem, which is really cute. I think hopefully, yeah, it's clearing up now. I'm supposed to have a little, a rooftop hang with my boy Michael Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling your business, Michael Thomas, sorry. You know, we got some champagne. We're going to go up on the roof a little bit later. I have a nice roof upstairs that I have access to. Oh, that'll be fun. I think it's legal. I'm not sure, but it's open. So what are you going to do? <laughs> they make it legal. <laughs> Yay. Well, I can't wait to see you. No, I can't wait to just 
We gotta I'm figure out a way to meet in the middle somehow. I'm still a little skittish about getting on the bus and trains. What about you? I'll ride my bike. I'll oh, ride your bike. bike. Yeah, I could ride up along the river or something and then. All right, figure we'll figure that out. That out. You know, I mean, we've been in touch like this and offline on our Zoom calls, but it's our it's our lady Zoom call. I know, uh, but being in person as a whole, it's just I miss it. I miss you guys. So triple sweat fit, yeah. dot com. Follow. Sh yeah. What's your your IG is Shannon Stowe? Yeah, it's just Shannon Stowe. Okay. And uh, and then you can find triple sweat fit on Facebook too. But oh, good. All of the stuff is on. Is good on for you, lady. Thank you. You know, doing it I'm for yourself, it you know. And so look, before I let you go, was this something that just was born out of the quarantine? Um, or did you I have this idea of, before? I kind of had the idea before thinking, oh, maybe I should, I could do this, I could do that. But I didn't do anything with it until yeah. the quarantine. And then I was like, okay, we're going to see what happens and yeah and so myself out there so even during you know. these dark times we are finding a way we are finding a way people yeah Aww. yeah love you shannon hey, listen, you, have to, you have a link to my my zoom girls night so come on tonight if you're if you're up for it okay thank yeah you. all right cool love you so much yeah feel better we'll talk later thank you all right bye 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 everybody <laughs> So who else am I going to bring in? Who else wants to come in? Where is, oh, where is my girl Kendra? Is my girl Kendra still on here? Yes, Kendra. <laughs> oh, Kendra, your settings aren't letting me bring you in. Um, I don't think your camera and microphone is set up. So I'm going to bring in my girl Michi in a minute. I hope she comes in because she has a similar, her similar story. Michi, are you going to come in with me? In the meantime, yes, it has already stopped with raining, which is amazing. Um, let's see. Michi, no? Oh, you're welcome, Shannon. So, yeah, so while we're waiting for Michi, um, hey, Christy Lowry. Uh, so, yeah, Summer Stage is going all digital. We did some things in June, a couple of presentations, and now we are going um, fully digital for the months of July and August. And on Monday, I will, for the first time ever with the festival, um, doing Instagram Live. And the first thing that's happening at noon is the Monday meditation series with my good friend, Corinne Plantedi. She will be doing breathing exercises just to get your week started, you know, at noon PM, noon EST. And, oh, Michi is saying you're unable to join too. I'm not sure why. Um, miss you too, Tony. You want to come in? Well, listen, if you guys want to come in, just request to come in because I don't want to put anyone on the spot. Um, and then at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be interviewing Dwight Roden of Complexions Contemporary Ballet. And that's called the Soundcheck Curator Talk, I believe. And that will all be on on Summer Stage. So... If you'd like to join me on this chat right here, please send me a request. Um, don't leave me hanging, people. But as Solomon and I were, oh, you were the, see, Tony, Tony's in the pool. And I need to be up in that pool with you, Tony. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, so Summer Stage is going digital. And the week after that, I'll be interviewing Joe Myers Brown. Eduardo Valaro from Ballet Hispanico the week after that. So just trying to keep it all um, active and still bring you free, amazing programming. I think next week we have a conversation with uh, Fab Five Freddy, ASAP Ferg are in conversation together. Um, thanks, Michael Thomas. It is going to be a great, um, a great Monday. Hey, Corinne. I'm going to bring you in again like last time, girl. Um, who else is next week? Angelique Kijo, I think, is doing a chat next week. So you can find all this information out on our Summer Stage website. The series is called Summer Stage Anywhere because we're global now, coming to you anywhere. Who else is next week? I believe uh, Angelique Kijo, the indie, indie music artist Shora is performing. Um, so it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of good people coming in. Let's see who else is in the room that could bring in. Y'all got me out here all by myself, looking crazy. Uh, la, 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 la. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, Corinne left. Michi, I'm not sure why yours isn't coming, like why, why yours isn't working. So in any case, if you guys have any questions for me, I am happy to answer. Um, and what are you guys doing for the holiday weekend? I refuse to say the other holiday that it is because, you know, this wasn't our holiday. Um, okay, Kendra's on the phone. Let me see. Cancel that. I'm going to bring in Corinne because she's awesome. Oh, wait, who's coming in? Ah, requests. When you go live to one. Yes. Let's see. Oh, uh, phone now? I'm not sure what that means. Ah! Oh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was very fast. That's Donovan screaming in the background. Oh, I thought my I might as well just take these out because you can hear him. Oh my god. Hi. Where, where, where is Donovan? Let's Hi, Bibi. Hi, Donovan. Ah! Oh wait, no, I do need those in. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Yes, I can't hear you. Now. I love it. Yes. All righty. Is this your first Instagram live? Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh. So I'm so excited because I really wanted to bring you in. And um, it just, Kendra is a, a teacher in the school system. And I just wanted you to share what it has really, really been like for <sighs> you with this remote learning. So Kendra Jackson Canales. <laughs> Adorable, beautiful son Donovan in the background who I have known since day one. Yes, I day like, one. I was there at the hospital when he was born. <laughs> My sweet, sweet little nephew. And now he's three. What the heck happened? All of three years old. So yeah. Hey, Christy Lowry saying hey. Hey, Christy. Yes. So Kendra and I met through our friend Calvin Wiley's dance class like 12, 13 years ago now. I don't know, maybe more. More. Oh, hi. 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 Hi, Hi Donovan. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this kid needs a, he needs an agent and an acting coach. Um, oh, wait, no, he's coming in. Here we go. Okay. It's, this, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do anything without this kid. Here we go. <laughs> so, Donovan, tell, tell the world what's going on with you. Can you hear Dee Dee? No, no, here you go. Oh, he can't hear me. No. I had to take you off Bluetooth. That's okay. Because then you have the TV and everything. Yeah. Um, hey, Julia. So Julia. Thanks. So, yeah, I've known Kendra since, um, I guess, yeah, 2000, 2001. So I can't yeah. know. So that's like 19 years. <laughs> that's almost 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Hi. 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 Isn't Cheers. that crazy? Cheers. Cheers. We have lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. So, yes. Cheers. Rem yes remote learning. Oh. The, Quick cheers. Remote learning. Go. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> kids, hilarious, kids. This is, this is how, this is how the free, Freestyle Friday is going to go. Yeah. It's <laughs> just everything. All or nothing. Yes. So. Yeah, tell tell us about the online learning and just it. I've probably done more work online learning than I have in the classroom. Wow! Any teachers out there? Congratulations to you making it through because this yeah. was this was tough. Yeah, just trying to figure out. Most people trying to figure out Google Classroom. I had already had Google Classroom set up, and that's where most all of my excuse me, lovey, where <laughs> all of my where all of my lessons were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and my students already knew how to use that. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just it was keeping track of attendance, putting up lessons every day, um, calling students, lots of parent outreach. Uh, a lot of our students did not have access to Wi-Fi or didn't have devices. Yeah. So it was really, really hard. Yeah. And just yeah. didn't have the motivation. If they, even if they had the device, mm -hmm. you know, coming down to the last couple of weeks, I had students reaching out to say, you know, I didn't have the motivation to do the work. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now I need help. <laughs> but you're coming down to the wire and it's time yeah. for oh. grades to go in, you know? But Yeah. Um, and so do you feel like, I mean, what percentage do you feel are actually going to make it into the next grade? Do they, 
Are they going to pass the kids? Like, well, how is that going to work? There was a lot of passing students that were already passing prior to the pandemic. Oh, okay. So we had to check back and see what those grades looked like. Yeah. If they weren't passing, then they got what's called an NX, which pretty much means it hit, they have an incomplete. Mm -hmm. And they'll have uh, this coming semester to complete that work. Got you. So a lot of the students that I thought were not passing did pass. Um, we got to see our virtual graduation, which was very odd. Mm -hmm. First time for everyone having a virtual graduation. It was it on Zoom? It was on YouTube. Oh, wow. And, you know, our valedictorian giving a speech in his class in his bedroom. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> it was just very crazy for them. I, I mean, you know, I congratulate all of them for making it through all of this because it was just so crazy. Yeah. 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 Uh, and even what what is the thinking for, I mean, I know you, you just finished June 26th, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, what is the thinking or the conversation for the fall as of right now? Well, it sounds like everyone in the building will have to have a mask on. Um, students that don't have their own will be given masks as they come in. Yeah. Um, I don't think we definitely won't be full capacity. Many of us will be remote only. So there's definitely going to be blended learning. Um, I think I'm part of what's called the specialties team. So there's myself teaching yoga. There's the PE teachers. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Just hair everywhere. Excuse me. <laughs> it's the Freestyle Friday. Kids. Oh my gosh. I love um, it. <laughs> language, art, music, all of us are kind of grouped together as a team. Yeah. So we may all be just remotely teaching. Yeah. In the yeah. fall. Um, we really don't know. I bet by the time August comes around, two weeks into August, we'll know what, you know, yeah. is really going to be set in stone for September. Yeah. We don't even have a start date as of yet. So even there was a lack of Wi-Fi, but mm -hmm. also a lot of the students didn't have a device to even work on. Right. So how were, so they were, they were given, so like citywide tablets went out, right? Right. You know I mean? Yes. Our school gave out what I was told over 300 Chromebooks. Oh, wow. And I think some tablets as well. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was really hard for a lot of them to do. As if they were on, like, Google, Google Meets and Google Hangouts to do work. Yeah. Did yeah. they already have those tablets, or did they have to Yes. Oh, they uh, did? You know what? I'm not even sure that they had that many. They, I don't know where they came from. Right. Because I, you know, that last day of school, we were not in the building, so I don't yeah. know. And that's not a hard. I don't know what happens if you press that. <laughs> <laughs> well, will the students have to away. return them? Yes. They will. So they were signed out, just like you would sign out a computer in the classroom, and then you put them back in the yeah. cart before you leave. It's the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm going to bring you in next. <laughs> so I haven't seen Jeremy in forever. Um, wow. So that's crazy. And what's the, what's the name of your school so people know? East Bronx Academy for the Future. Oh, wow. For the, this, and here we are, the future. Right? Here. Yes. I mean, do you see this? I mean, are you a part of any sort of, um, was there sort of a survey that went out to the teachers about how it could be improved? Or what's the, is there a focus group? There's, there was a survey uh, for parents. And then so that we could, so that the DOE knew what, um, you know, where our heads are in terms of sending mm -hmm. our kids to school. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a survey for teachers just yeah. to know what platforms you were using for learning. Um, I don't even remember, but what percentage of students were handing in work? Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of teachers were using Flipgrid, which I had never even heard of. Um, Google yeah. Meets, Google Classroom, Google Hangouts. Yeah. Um, there's so many different platforms that I wasn't even aware of. So it was more of just trying to figure out what folks were using and how many students were on them. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same thing with us at Summer Stage. There are so many some, some parts of us. It, Parts, parts of it is exciting, are exciting. I can't even talk straight. It's <laughs> tired. It's hot. I can't cry. This week was hard. But some of it's exciting because these are, even for my own online performative stuff, it's exciting to learn some of these platforms. But mm -hmm. going into this digital, you know, virtual arts season, um, like I had never heard of Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, 
Restream and some of these other ones. Wow. I have no idea. So that's been kind of cool. I mean, obviously, I hope that we're back in the parks yeah. full on next year because that's what we do. And this this is what this city is about. You know, it's right. like entertainment. It's about theater, the arts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of our very close friends, our girl Rosie, you know, people are struggling. I and know. They, they were born to do what they've trained to do all their lives. Yeah. You know, very personal friends of ours that, you know, my heart's this is heartbreaking. It's a struggle. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, anything else you want to share about the... Uh... <laughs> Here, mommy, eat. Okay, the online <laughs> teaching experience or what you can tell parents maybe that are on the line that they should be thinking about for the fall semester just to, just to prepare themselves maybe? Yeah, I mean, because it could be anything. I mean, whatever guidelines we've heard as of up to now, I would guess are definitely going to change in yeah. the next few weeks. We'll get more information as the summer goes on, but I don't even have a lot of information to share. Our UFT rep is trying to stay in touch with the UFT and DOE and give us as much information as possible, but yeah. it's all changing day to day. Right. But in terms of just um, for the, I mean, obviously, like with some of these families, maybe they don't have a, a room that the child can even go into by themselves and have privacy and right. You know, a quiet space. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe thinking ahead, if it's even possible to carve out a little space for your child so they can have some focused learning in there. Yes, in that's home. important. And I know yeah. that's hard. I mean, you know, yeah. I'm privileged maybe to live by myself, but that's not mm -hmm. the case for a lot of people. Right. In, yes. in New York City. New York City is a crowded city, you know? Yeah, especially in a neighborhood where our students are from, in the East yeah. Bronx, a lot of them have other family members that they're living with, and they don't have any space, like you've said. I've seen pictures of students with um, in rooms with bunk beds, and so they're clearly sharing with other siblings or cousins or yeah. whomever. Or maybe, yeah. like, I mean, I would, this just came to my mind, maybe, look like, some of the buildings that have... Um, not community centers. What do they call like in the base for like a community room? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe yeah. that's something that could be an idea for you know, like buildings that have this that they can use for just learning centers. Right. In apartment buildings. I don't yeah, know. that's that's a good idea. I don't I don't yeah. know that anyone has thought of that. Mm -hmm. I know that's something to think about. But in any case, yay. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well, thank you for jumping in. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> And I'll see you on the call later, hopefully. Alrighty, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. Love you. All right, Bye, love you too. Bye, Titi. <laughs> Where are you? Bye. 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 <laughs> see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Hilarious. This is super cool. Jeremy, are you still in the room? Which are, which are cute, so where is he? Oh, he left us. All right, cool. Um, Asa, are you around? Do you want to come on and say a few few fabulous instances in these last 15 minutes with me. Miss Ace of Love, child, diva, diva latrine. Am I putting you on the spot, my love? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yay, hey, darling. Oh, yes, hold on. Let me go. Let me put on my little hat first. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Look, everybody catch me in. Look, everybody catch me in nerd mode. <laughs> IG, you can't hide nothing. <laughs> hey, some baby cakes. How are Girl. you, darling? How are you? How are you, my singing diva? Chow, you know I'm over here trying to reinvent, reinvent the wheel in this here COVID. That's yeah. right. We got to get creative. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. How you been holding up? I've been doing good. I'm quarantining alone, but thank goodness New York right. is almost out of the quarantine. So I'll be able to hopefully travel a little yes. bit more, um, of course, by car, because I'm not really too keen on the on the plane thing right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll probably get out and about probably another week or two. When yeah. I feel Wait, like where are you? I'm in Jersey. So I'm in Union oh, City. Oh, you're in Jersey. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Jersey? Union City. Un okay. Union City Hoboken. Mm-hmm. Okay. So have you been singing? Have you been doing any online vocalizing? I have actually. Um, I did a couple of things right at the beginning of March. I had done some, some uh, uh, IG lives 
And I did a meditation for Juneteenth, yes. back to June 18th, um, where I, I, I sing and I also recited a lot of poetry, especially from Ruby D at that time, which was odd. She was coming through very strong. So, yeah, so I did that. Um, I released a song. Yes. Yeah, it's a, I guess you could call it in this day and age, you can call it a protest song, but you know, it's, it's basically how black people feel every day. So <laughs> absolutely <laughs> call it what you will. Our story, you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I managed to do that. I started a try. Here's the kicker. <laughs> I became an, and you know, we all have like our side gigs, right? Right. And I became an independent travel agent two weeks before <laughs> I <was> shut down. <laughs> And I just went, God, you got jokes. You got some yes, right. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You have it. You've got it now. I have it. It's there. And you know what? The purpose is becoming more clear. Because yes. before it was, okay, I'm going to get this job so I can continue. You know, I'm going to do it this way so I can continue to be free to travel and perform. Right? Yes. But now yes. the purpose is a little different. Because we yes. as artists are all in the same situation yes. really people are all in the same situation where yes. there will be times when we need to travel at this point you know okay I mean? absolutely and, and my purpose right now is to provide the best possible travel that i can for Amen. people who don't necessarily have a lot of money to do it exactly do exactly it for emergency purposes so I, fu I found my purpose even though i was like god you know i don't know but okay yeah <laughs> no, even, and then i started even during over. this time I'm sorry, yeah, even for me during this time, I've been having such a wonderful time using, you know, my voice and platform with these IG Lives to just help get the word out about people and what they're up to. And I've been having a great time. And I feel like even post-quarantine, getting back to work, like in the office, I should say, because I've been working still. Thank, thank yeah, you've been working hard, child. Woo! See ya. Um, I do want to keep this going. Like I, you know, I'm not singing as much, and that's all good, whatever. But I just I like being in front of people. I feel like I've been entertaining people since the second grade. <laughs> yes. Let me tell y'all something. If you haven't been bussed by Miss Danny G, I think you need to get your blessing. I was oh, bussed about you. five, six years ago, and child. Yes. Hey, are you in touch with Mama Fox? Life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you in touch with Nona? I am in touch with Nona. We actually talk almost every day. Oh, beautiful. Uh, via so, Zoom. If y'all don't know, Miss uh, Asa is a badass singer. I mean, uh -huh. extraordinarily talented, gifted. And she also works with the legendary Nona Hendrix on the regular. So once we come through this, and we we're will, gonna we're going for it. We're going to party. Yes. You know yes, what? We're gonna, party. I already know. All of us artists are going to lose our minds. It's going to be the best gathering, best concert, best music, best performances, best dance, dances, best everything that you could ever <laughs> imagine. You're about to see from every Absolutely. We've got so much, not even pent up, but just, well, yeah, pent up. Hell, we haven't been able to express ourselves the way we want to. So it's going to be a fabulous blessing when it happens. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So how's Miss Kiki? To tell Miss Kiki? Yes. I, you know what? I just spoke to her. And the thing is, we're all talking about, you know, how can we recreate ourselves? Well, I'm a consultant. So I'm helping a lot of artists out with that. I'm a, um, I have my own company, which is specifically yes. for creative artists and business and marketing strategy called Phase on Entertain, uh, Phase on, in, in a, look, I'm so into entertainment. Phase yes. on Innovative Concepts. Yeah. So, yeah, so with all of this going on, we think of, we sit, we, we, we you know, well, we Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we Zoom and we think about ideas of how to be creative yes. in this COVID existence and yes. in this very heightened um, uh, existence for black people right yes. now. Yes. You know, we're yes. healers. You know, as music people, we're healers. Right. You know what I mean? Whether we want to be or not, that is our appointment right. in this lifetime, especially right. with our gifts. And it can be fun, but we also have to remember that what soothes the people and what calms the people is our gifts. You know? So, right yeah. on, right on, me. I'm going to stop preaching because, listen, I wanted Kathy Sledge, the last time you were on, I wanted her to turn the interview around on you. Oh, I was, so, it was, I was so hoping that she would, but that's okay. We're going to get Kathy to interview you. Yes. Oh, Miss Kathy. She was great. I can't wait to get out and see her, her family when the, when the time is right. 
Um, well, I only got about 10 minutes, and I see somebody else that I want to bring in real quick. Absolutely. So thank you for coming in. I miss I you. I miss you. I miss you. Yes. I love you, Danny G. Love you, too. Stay All safe, right. my love, and we will see you real soon. Thanks Absolutely. for coming in. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Um, uh, great. This is awesome. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see if she's still here and if she'll come in. Um, I think she may have jumped off, but that's okay. So I have about 10 more minutes left. Um, and if there's anybody that wants to come in real quick, I saw Ariel Palis watching before and I really wanted to bring her in. She is the night mayor from the mayor's office, um, for, um, night life and culture and clubs and music. And she's been doing amazing work, you know, to keep this city moving, um, and just keeping us all informed about what's going on in all of these phases. Ariel Palitz, please look her up. She's doing great work as the, I think, I'm not thinking that's her, her official title. I'm not quite sure, but I know they call her the night mayor. And it was a new uh, position that the mayor's office created to be act, act as a liaison between um, nightclubs, music venues, um, the mayor's office, and the community so that we can all, you know, coexist peacefully. And, you know, this is supposed to be the city that never sleeps. It's New York City. We're strong, we're tough, but we, we need to, you know, rock and roll. Um, so I just gotta tell y'all real quick, hey, Carl Dixon. So if there's anybody that's listening or watching that wants to come in for these last five minutes, feel free to request to come in. Otherwise, what can I tell you? Um, if you're just joining us, if you're just listening in, I am still with Summer Stage and we are going digital fully starting Monday. We're kicking it off with some dance. I can't believe for the first time ever at, first of all, what, since I've been there anyway, um, dance is going to be the first full on offering at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time with a yoga class. Oh, but here she comes. My friend Michi, sorry. Um, a yoga class with my girl Corinne Planta D on IG Live, followed by a 7 p.m. curated conversation with my boy Dwight Roden of Complexions Ballet. So I think my girl Michi is trying to come in now. My girl in Chicago, by way of Brooklyn, born in Chicago, moved to Brooklyn, in Chicago right now. And we're going to see if we can bring her in. Um, and the, oh, yay! <laughs> yes! We act like we haven't seen each other, but we I you talked three times already today. I've been enjoying the whole live. I was multitasking. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> you look so cute. Look at you. Oh, thank you, girl. It's thank you, girl. Let me see. We got like, we got like five minutes, but that's all good. I know. Five minutes, five minutes. Yeah, so you so, saw my conversation with Chan Shannon about her Gus. And you lost your peanut butter, I know. It's very, very similar. Yes, yes. So I everybody, this is my girl Misha mm -hmm. Shasan. We used to be colleagues at Summer Stage. Oh my gosh, forever friends. Forever friends. So tell us what's going on. I sent, I'm sending my love to Shannon. Look, I have to go back to the cat and Gus because I heard her say she went to the vet a couple of times. Yeah. And um, it's hard. I just knew that peanut butter was losing weight and wasn't eating, but I took him to the vet, blood test, x-ray. They didn't see anything. So, you know, I was just prayerful that, um, that he would be okay. Yeah. He weight and all. And what she described, like a kitten all the way through his cathood. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, he was in distress, so I will share everyone from that. Um, so anyway, it was, I was listening like, same thing happened. The same yeah. Thing. Yeah. Little fur anyway, baby, peanut butter. Well, I had the pleasure of my meeting. baby, and people yes. kept parenting very seriously, and I know that some people don't speak of cats as highly as dogs. Not everyone, but I'm the cool cat lady. I'm not the crazy cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say that. And it was, it's rough. I mean, it's, it's been May 13th. We're just mm -hmm. at the beginning of July. I will, you know, life has been crazy. And 
as we grow older and you become attached to your most beloved ones, no matter if it's a person or mm -hmm. an animal, it's, you know, it's, it's a strange thing. Yeah. You know, I just like to call it coping. I don't call things you heal right away. I think you, you take the opportunity to get used to your new normal. Yeah. And you adjust. Yeah. I'm so, sorry, your voice keeps coming out. In, in oh, like, am a little I? Bit. It's not, it's not bad, but it's okay. I mean, I can hear you, but it's, it sounds like a little bit like it's underwater. But I just don't understand you. It's all good. Okay. Let's see if you can if yeah. I have a little better signal. Because I'm normally on the stoop of the porch. Yeah. But I miss, I miss my beloved New York. I have to pay attention to both of my cities before I travel back and drive back. Um, but I get all my energy, my good energy <laughs> from you. Well, it misses you too. That's for darn sure. That is for darn sure. Right. Many, 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 many friends. So I'm, um, I'm always thankful. I'm like, look, yes. at, look at my beloved city. <laughs> yes. Everybody, for the most part, that's been on the call today that came in were, have all, have all started their own thing. Uh, entrepreneurial, Asa that just came on. She, right before the shutdown, started her own consulting travel business. My girl as Shanna, as that was on, started her triple sweat. I'm like, you know what? Is. That's a theme. That's a theme. Like, people We've have been, been living taking... a consultant life for a long time. That's what I was going to say. People on, you know, yes. To... You have been working for yourself for a long time. And I, right. I applaud you for that. So, you know, and it can be a scary thing. Like, some people, you know, the unknown. It's the unknown you know, as a consultant. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's popping off, it's popping off. And then you're like, um, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm so proud. I just wanted to say, you know, I am a, a programmer, producer, manager. I'm very yep. behind the scenes, but I'm very happy to know that you are taking hold of this, you know, your series. And it, it feels so good and normal and you're great. This is your thing. This is your element. Yeah. And so yeah. I want to build it out. I, wanna, I definitely want to figure out how to build it out and um, do other platforms and do right. bigger chats. I see right. people doing, you know, like Zoom panels to Facebook Live. I really do want to branch out into that and do group conversations. And, you know, I'm a little nervous how to do the Zoom to Facebook Live thing and the connection. And right. I'll think, I'm, I'm figuring it out, though, but because I really want to keep this going. Like, I enjoy bringing folks together. I enjoy hearing stories. As you know, I went to school for journalism, so I'm always curious about people's backstories and what they have to offer. And just also giving platform because, you know, to be real, I do have a platform besides Summer Stage, but just, you know, people that know me over the years as a dancer, as a singer, and person of the world. So You have to be. Um... As you, I heard you say that you were really you're like I'm. I'm thankful for this time, just you know, to become a techie. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, we have to get on board. And so, any client that I work with, or any friend that needs to be, that needs to utilize this platform, I always like. Yes. Because you have to. You know, you have to yeah. jump in. And I can't wait for you to start your kitchen talks again. I know. We gotta talk about the kitchen talks. It's all coming. You know, life has been real. I will say yeah. body from, you know, my personal life, but life has been very interesting and um, you got to feel really creative to, to do that. So I will put something on shutdown or hiatus for a moment so I can feel yeah. like me. Um, there's nothing like your mother being gone. So ad adapting yeah. to that in the last three months has been, you know, yeah. a whole crazy experience. But I am looking forward to to it because I've changed the whole platform in a sense, but I'm kind of, you know, I've been creating and scripting and seeing how I'm going to navigate because there's so many platforms yeah. and I'm all about bringing everybody kind of into a central location. Yes. So awesome. To, as we know, as mm -hmm. you said, we like Twitch for DJs. There's so <laughs> many, like, there's a, um, a competitor for everything. Yeah. Twitch, TikTok, I don't know, all, all of the above. Hey, Kirsten just popping in, Miss Pop Life. Um, oh my god! So we're down to our last like forty-five seconds. I don't want this to cut off on us. I'm glad you were my last pop in. You know what? I, 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 I was gonna call you right after this, right after this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna FaceTime me. I'm gonna FaceTime me with two minutes. <laughs> okay, right? Exactly. 
I love you, Michi. Bye. Thank you guys for tuning in with the Freestyle Friday. Happy holiday weekend. We're still continuing Juneteenth. Tune in to Summer Stage Instagram Live, noon on yes. Monday and 7 p.m. on Monday. Um, really that's all I can remember right now. And I hope see the program get yes. out there at the end of Love the you guys. And see you next Friday. I have a very <laughs> special guest. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's going to be real good. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Mitch. Bye.